If anyone has any advice on how to not look like a potato on camera, please let me know because I am struggling. But in today's video, I'm going to be telling y'all some bisexual slang, all the words that us bisexuals use to find our tribe, find our people because we are amazing. <laughs> So today I'm going to be telling y'all some bisexual slang. A lot of these are words that I just looked up a little bit ago, but I thought it would just be a fun video to sit on here and let's all learn together because that is the beauty of the internet. We all get to learn at the same time and not be stupid. But if you're not subscribed to my channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button and join the squad by hitting that notification bell as well. I do make a lot of videos about my bisexuality and my virginity, so if that's something you're into, subscribe. So the first one is switch hitter, and most people probably know what this one is. I knew what this was. It's just another word to describe a bisexual person. It just means that you have the choice to go with the guys or the girls. You get choices. I'm not saying it's a choice that you choose to be bisexual, but once you are bisexual, you get to choose. <laughs> another term is verse, and it's just someone who gets to choose between being a top or a bottom. You know, they get the top bunk one night, and they get the bottom bunk another. They get to choose whether or not they're gonna be on top or bottom, and kudos to them. And we all know what this is. If you're a bisexual person, you know what bi erasure is. It's just whenever straight or other LGBT people tell you that you're not real. They say, ah, you're bisexual, when are you gonna choose? It's just the erasure of bisexuality in our society because people don't like the fact that there's bisexual people. People don't like the fact that they're not in a box. They're never gonna like it. We're here, we're queer, and we're coming for you. Remember that. And going along with bi erasure, a lot of times bisexuals are called unicorns and I've actually been called a unicorn before and I take it with pride. I'm like, call me a unicorn. I'm horny. <laughs> but bisexuals are called unicorns because they don't exist. Embrace it. Love it. We are unicorns. Then there's bi-fi. Bi-fi is kind of like your gaydar, but it's used for bisexual people. It's actually so funny. It's like bi-fi. Wi-fi. I struggle with my bi-fi. It doesn't really work because I think that everyone I like is bisexual, but when in reality they're just straight. But if you have a bi-fi, use it. Tell me about it. Let me know. Point me in the right direction. Tell me where all the bisexuals are because I want to know. And this is easy. A threesome. It's just three people having sex. And I don't know why people thought that was for bisexuals only. Threesomes can be for anyone, but threesomes are just a bisexual thing, I guess. Haha, ha, all you straight dudes wanting threesomes, it's not for you. It's for us. We're the only ones that get to have threesomes. And then there's the king's threesome, which is two girls and one guy. Don't ask me why it's called that. And then there's 50-50, and it just means that you like women and men. 50-50, you like them equally. And then if a guy or a girl says they're bi-flexible, I'm gonna say for guys, it means that your dude is straight, but he wouldn't mind his buddy sucking his dick. A bi five is a high five between two bisexual people. So if you see another bisexual and you give them a high five, it's not called a high five, it's called a bi five. If you're a bi chaser, it means that you're someone who only goes after and dates bisexuals. I don't know how you know they're bisexual unless you have a really good bi fi. Cool for you. I'm available. I'm bisexual. I'm lonely. I need someone. And your bi-exual is your boyfriend or girlfriend that is now your ex. Because you're bisexual, you can't just say they're my ex. You have to say they're my bi-exual. Get it? It's funny. We always gotta be punny when it comes to our words because we don't know how to talk. We literally can't choose anything. If someone's biphobic, it means that they just hate you for no reason other than that you're bisexual. Why would anyone hate me? I don't know. I'm lovable. If you wanna fight, fight me. Just kidding, I'm not a fighter. I'm a teddy bear. I've never fought anyone. A wanna bi? is a straight person who wants to be bisexual. I don't know who would want to be bisexual. Just kidding, everyone should want to be bisexual. We're amazing. And like, we're funny. <laughs> and have all the perks, because they don't. Because they're not like us. A party bi is a straight person who becomes bisexuals when they go to parties. And they're not really bisexual, but they want to pretend for the night. Go for it, I don't care, have fun. A straight broker is when a gay or bisexual person has sex with a straight person for the first time. So you just broke their straightness. If you're bi-situational, it means that you're bisexual only in certain situations. You kind of get to pick and choose when you want to be bisexual, and then the rest of the time you're that straight dude over there, looking straight, acting straight. I don't know if that makes any sense. These were just some bisexual slang words that I thought would be funny to tell you guys. I don't even know if this video is interesting at all. I look like a potato, but you know what? Y'all love me still. I know you do. So, subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell. I love you guys. Roger that. Okay.